Engineers Anton Steparov and Anatoly Ivanishin just 10 minutes away from their landing now. This again is a uh, live view from Kazakhstan. I says that Anatoly must be real hungry right now. With the parachutes that are slowing the Soyuz down, easily visible on a clear day. Like you're not dying. Excellent weather was uh, predicted for the landing, and it looks like that has come through. Yeah, I can be patient for a little bit longer. Oleg, this is Yuri. Thank you so much for the great work. Special thanks for helping us establish that the imitator is uh, fully functional because we have some doubts about that. Thank you, Yuri. It's just that the diagram was unreadable. I tried to. Uh, get at it at different angles on the computer and you know I couldn't really read any information about the mates and connectors. Yep, could have used a little bit of enlargement. Say again. Yeah. Thank you, have a great mission. Thank you, Yuri. Good luck. So he's continuing to make its way to uh, landing north of Arkalik in Kazakhstan. Okay. At this point, it's going a little more than 15 miles per hour as it makes its way down, having been slowed by the parachutes. Should have also by now deployed its uh, or jettisoned rather its heat shield so that the altimeter on the Soyuz can see the earth below and provide altitude and rate of descent data. Also by now the uh, Soyuz seat shock absorbers will have been turned on to soften the landing a bit. Should be touching down in just under eight minutes now. Waiting for it at the landing site will be eight helicopters and uh, three airplanes that uh, will serve as Three airplanes that will serve as uh, flying command centers and uh, six all-terrain vehicles. All of that waiting for the crew when they do touch down to bring the uh, representatives from the Russian Space Agency and NASA to the landing site and uh, get the crew out of the capsule and uh, ready to head home.
точка 2000 метров. Continuing to get great live views of the Soyuz floating down to Earth. Set on this course uh, by a 549 deorbit burn that lasted 4 minutes and 18 seconds. Wrapping up at 553 and putting it on course for its landing in Kazakhstan. Everything's gone nominally so far with the uh, team here on the ground having confirmed that it will be landing in its expected location and uh, crews uh, on their way to meet them now. One of the last things that will happen uh, will occur just under 40 feet in altitude uh, when Soyuz Commander Anton Schlapperall will get notice from the computers to prepare to fire six solid propellant engines called the soft landing engines to slow the Soyuz down even further to a rate of about five feet per second or three and a half miles per hour for their landing. Team here in the space station flight control room reporting that uh, the Soyuz is now at an altitude of 600 meters or about um, just under 2,000 feet above its landing site. Continuing to make a normal descent uh, with uh, the crews, the crew in good health. View there in the foreground of one of the eight helicopters in the area to meet the Soyuz as it makes its descent to its landing site and coming up, as you can see, on that touchdown. It's just a few seconds away now.
and the team here in the International Space Station flight control room confirming that the Soyuz TMA-22 has touched down in Kazakhstan now at uh, 6.45 a.m. Central Time. That's at 2.45 p.m. Kazakhstan time. This brings to an end a 165 day in space for these three members of the Expedition 30 crew, Commander Dan Burbank and Flight Engineers Anton Shkaplerov and Anatoly Ivanishin. With that 165 days added to his record, Burbank now has a cumulative total of 189 days spent in space. That's with the addition of his two shorter trips in the past on uh, space shuttles for STS-106 and 116. This is the first flight for both Shkaplerov and Ivanishin, so they each now have a total of 165 days spent in space. With the crew now on the ground, again, that official landing time was 6.45 a.m. Central Time or 2.45 p.m. Kazakhstan Time. All the vehicles that were pre-staged for touchdown are making their way to the landing site. Those include